so I'm really enjoying this matzo ball soup. And during the winter months, I could eat soup almost every day. And one of my favorite vegetables during the winter is squash. I love all kinds of squash, acorn squash, spaghetti squash, butternut squash, winter green squash. So I'm gonna be making my squash soup with cinnamon and nutmeg. And I really like this soup because it has a great combination of natural sweetness and savoriness to it. So for this squash soup recipe, I'm going to use the winter green or what they call the kabocha squash. And it looks like this. It's between three to about three and a half pounds. And the skin right now is kind of hard. And because it's hard, I'm gonna use my Chinese cleaver knife. I don't know if you saw that show with my mom in it and how to use the Chinese cleaver knife, but this knife becomes so practical when I have something hard to cut, like this type of squash or maybe lobster like the shell. So I'm gonna use the cleaver knife because the shell is really hard. So you've gotta be careful. This could be a little dangerous. I'm just gonna bang right into it. So remove your left hand, or if you're lefty, then remove your right hand. So I'm just gonna give it a really big bang so that it can go right through. And that's okay, This it always happens like that and then I'll just kind of bang it. And you've gotta be persistent. See? Now it's working, so that's why you need a cleaver knife because <laughs> a regular knife, it might be a little harder to do that. So we're just gonna cut into smaller pieces. So I've sliced the squash into smaller pieces and then we're going to remove the seeds and the inner flesh, just remove that. Because I don't think you necessarily want the seeds in the soup. So we'll just remove the seeds. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a foil and you're gonna wrap the squash in foil for baking and roasting. And then you're gonna cook the squash in the oven at 375 degrees for one hour and you'll see how nice and soft the squash comes out. So I just took the squash out of the oven after it's been cooking for one hour and I wanna show it to you to show you how soft the squash gets, even the skin. Look at it, it is so soft. And because the skin is also very soft, you can just eat the skin. So I'm gonna include the skin in the soup because the skin has so much nutritional value. So I took my cooked squash and crumpled it into smaller pieces with my hands. So I'm just gonna add it to my large pot right in there. And like I said, I'm adding the skin because the skin is soft and has so much nutritional value. So I'm adding the skin too. And then I'm gonna add all of my liquids. I'm gonna add two cans of coconut milk and the coconut milk will give it a nice creamy texture to the soup. I'm gonna add two cups, I mean two cans of it. So two cans of coconut milk and then two cups of water. And now I wanna flavor the soup with one and a half teaspoons of ground nutmeg. And you know ground nutmeg has that wonderful kind of spicy holiday flavor to it. I know it's not the holidays, but you could have nutmeg any time of the year. And then one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon and cinnamon also has that nice spicy flavor profile to it. And I have one and a half teaspoons of salt to flavor it. And one teaspoon of pepper to also flavor it. And I've got my fire on. 
And so as soon as the soup starts to boil and all the flavors come together, then we're going to ground it up with our hand blender. So I'm just gonna place the lid and bring the soup to a boil so that all the flavors really start to come together. So the soup is boiling, which means that all the flavors are coming together. So I'm going to just turn off my flame and with my hand blender, and this is such a nifty tool, you really have to have one, I'm just gonna blend the soup and all the flavors are gonna come together. So make sure you blend up all of the squash skin and it looks good. So look how creamy smooth it is. And that rich color is really beautiful. And I can really smell the cinnamon, a little bit of that nutmeg, it smells really good. And I'll just place some of that soup in this bowl. And I'm telling you, this is gonna make a really great lunch for these cold winter days. It is really creamy smooth. I can really taste the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the natural sweetness of the squash. And I like to pair it with some crackers. It makes a beautiful lunch or an appetizer for dinner, especially during these cold winter days. I could eat soup almost every day during the winter months. So try it at home. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And if you like this recipe, please make sure you share this video and subscribe to my channel. And I wanna let you know that this spring, I'm launching my yin and yang living line of prayer beads based on my logo. You know, the crescent moon and the round sun. So as you can see on my necklace, you've got the crescent moon and the round sun. The pendant also has the crescent moon and the round sun. And it also comes in bracelet form. And I'm launching these prayer beads with nine different paired color combinations. And what's so special about these prayer beads is that when you purchase a prayer bead, you will have access to a private mantra or meditation video on my website to help you in your journey of life. So this is a great way to support me in the future. And if you wanna support me now because you like what I do, you can always donate to my fan funding because I use so much of my time, energy, and resources to create these videos for you. And if you wanna visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just visit my website at yinnyangliving.com. Kumasunida.